Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Tea Time. This is Teresa. It is Thursday, September 10th, and I finally finished decorating for fall and uh, I filmed my home tour and now I'm ready to uh, present it to you for your comments and your likes, hopefully. Um, I did scale it back a little bit this year. I don't know why. I think I was in a mood. When I opened up my totes and I was getting all my fall stuff out, I was like, I don't like that anymore. That's old. I'm not going to use it. I think I'm going to throw that one away. So I, I didn't do the second floor. I only did the downstairs. Um, but I hope you like it. But before we get started on that, I wanted to bend your ear for just a moment. Um, I have several friends here on YouTube that have their own channels. I actually met them on YouTube, never actually met them face to face, but one of them in particular, her name is Courtney, and she's just one of the sweetest people I've ever met. And her channel, like many others, um, she does hauls, she does vlogging, uh, she does um, crafting, and cooking. She has a lot of, and I really get a lot of inspiration from her. She's very good in the kitchen. Um, and she's very good at crafting. She's just good at everything she does. Uh, her and her husband live in Canada. And they have two little dogs and a cat. And she just shares her life with, with us. And it's wonderful. Um, her channel name is now, I don't know if I said it. Uh, her, her channel name now, I'm looking at my cat right now. He's, he's being nosy. Um, her channel name now is called Candy Cane. It used to be Gator Girl 22. So check her channel out. Um, you know, give her some love. Uh, subscribe to her channel, and uh, let's let's um, expand our YouTube horizons. Okay, um, I'm burning my nuts off with this on. Um, look at my hair. So without further ado, let's jump right into this tour. I love you guys. Um, coming up soon will be some fall crafts. Uh, to give you a little sneak peek. This is what I'm going to be using um, in a fall, my first fall craft. It's a bunt pan. So, yeah, you probably already know what it is. But anywho, enjoy the tour. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, let's get this tour started. Welcome to my front porch. That's where we're going to start. And it's where we always start. And over here in this area, I have a couple of rockers. And in between, I have an antique sewing machine. On the rockers, I have these orange and tan pillows um, that I think look nice in, in the fall. And then on the antique sewing machine, I've got a small pumpkin that says, Hello, Autumn. And I got that at the Dollar General. And if we move over here, of course, you have to have a wreath on your front door. And so this wreath that I'm using is one that I made last year. And I think it looks nice. I just kind of threw it together with autumn colors and I actually clipped in some pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. In this area right here, I've got an old trunk, and on top of that, it's like a wooden crate, which I have flipped upside down. And on it, I have some nesting wire baskets, and inside, some DIY pumpkins I did last year. Tucked in a couple little owls, and that sits next to the tree that's here all the time. Um, but I, I have put some autumn touches to it. So I've got a kind of an autumn bow. I didn't make this bow. And doesn't it look crinkly? I don't know what to do with it. And I've tucked in some scarecrows. And some grungy sunflowers. And just a few flowers that, I don't know, have an autumn color to them. And then over here on this storage cabinet, I just simply put a wreath on the door handle. 
And then over here in front of this big window, look how nice it looks outside. It is going to be a beautiful day, kids. And I've got to mow. So anywho, in front of this window, I've got a small table and chairs. And then on here, I have this swan or goose or whatever it is. That's here all the time. But I did add this. It says blessed. It's a candle holder from the Dollar General. I'll try not to go too fast to make anyone dizzy. Let's go ahead and move on into the house. Now, once you open the front door and step inside, you're in the living room. And you can see I've got a fireplace, a couple of built-ins. Um, unfortunately, the mantle is where I have to put my television. There just isn't any other way to move this living room around. Through the living room, though, you can see the dining room. And over here is the sofa. Behind the sofa is my stairway. And then behind the stairway, or next to the stairway, is a little, just a little corner of the living room. The, the floor plans actually calls it a den, but it's not what your traditional den would be. But I do have a bookcase and some chairs and a desk. And Okay, let's look at this little table right here next to the sofa. I've got a basket with some fake pumpkins and gourds. Isn't this the most adorable basket ever? Oh, I have a thing for baskets. And then next to the basket's a candle and at the scent is mulling spices. And it does smell wonderful. There's my kitty. Hi Sly, what's it doing? He's so nosy. So on the stairway I've got some leaf garland and lights. Which at night, oh, I just love white lights. And really the only other thing over here is on the desk I've got a little wooden pumpkin and then it has a metal sign that says Happy Harvest. Probably another Dollar General find. Don't have anything up here, but look at this lamp I bought at my sister's shop. How adorable. I just love this lamp and I use the flickering um, light bulbs in it. I just think it's adorable. And then over here next to the door there's a little table. Underneath the table I have a basket that we keep in the wintertime gloves and hats. In the summer sunglasses. Oh, I lost focus. Sunglasses and umbrellas. But for fall all I did was tuck a few couple of different colored sunflowers in here with what already was in there. Okay? And then on the door, this is a new purchase this year. Open daily pumpkin patch. Hay rides, hot cocoa, fresh pie. And then next to that, on this wooden hook thing, um, I don't know what it is. I just bought it. I think I got it at a garage sale. I just thought it looked old fashioned, so I bought it. Anywho, hanging on that is a metal sign that looks like the popular red truck with some pumpkins in the back, and it says Simply Blessed. And then over here on the love seat, I have a fall pillow that says A Grateful Heart is a Happy Heart. Then if we move over here to above the built-ins, I'm thinking I'm going to add lights to this garland. But the garland goes all the way across to in front of the mantle and then all the way across the other built-in. I think lights would really make that look nice. So I probably will tweak that later. On the fireplace mantle I have a banner that says Happy Fall. And then down here on the floor in front of the fireplace, on either side I have two crocs. And I have some fall arrangements and sticks I gathered out of the yard. <laughs> um, and then in the center I have just a variety of different pumpkins that I had. Some are ceramic, some are plastic. Actually that gourd is real. It's just been dehydrated or dried out or whatever. So yeah, I think this looks really cute. Um, the trick is keeping my grandson away from it. But you know, he's been here once since I put all this stuff out and he really 
He stood there and looked at it, but he didn't touch anything. So I don't know if he's just getting his nerve up, and next time he comes, it's going to be everywhere or what, but never mind. It's cool. Whatever he wants to do. And then over here in this antique rocker, I forgot to turn this light on. On the antique rocker, I have this cute scarecrow. And then if we move over here to the sofa, I've got another pillow that says hello fall. And then over here on my end table, I this is this was a this was something I hauled uh, a couple weeks ago. It's like a glass pumpkin with a handle, and I'm using it as a candy dish. Okay, let's go ahead and move into the dining room. And I'm telling you, I really slimmed down my decorations this year. It's not because I'm not in the mood. I just, I don't know. I just didn't do it. Of course, you have to have a fall centerpiece. And I did make these jars last year. And I have some fall arrangements in them. And then over in the corner over here, I have a wooden pumpkin that says Harvest. And I purchased this many moons ago. And I believe I got it at a garage sale. So that's there. And then over here on the coat closet, I got a pumpkin or scarecrow head. I think this is just so cute. And you know, I cannot remember where I bought it. Let me see if it has a, no, wait, let me see what this tag says. Maybe this tag has a, Lord, I can't read that tag. Anyway, I don't know where I bought it, but it's cute, isn't it? And then on this door handle is yet another little pillow. And it says Harvest Blessings. And then on this wooden box in between two crocs is my shelf sitter scarecrow that I bought a couple weeks ago. And he's just sitting there looking so smiley. And then let's see, let's move over to the kitchen area. In this basket, I have some plastic pumpkins that I kind of jazzed up a little bit last year. I painted this one white and put twine on it. This one I put some stain and then wiped it off to kind of dull the color. And this one I didn't do anything to, this orange one. I actually think it fell off of a wreath or garland or something. And then tucked in here is a cute little fox. And then next to that is my cookie jar, my cookie slash snack jar. Now I usually love and plan to have this full of autumn cookies when I do my tour, but you know, I can't, I couldn't find any. I like those, you know, those leaf shaped cookies that have the sugar on top. Well, the stores don't have them yet. So we're working on the last of the pretzels in here. All right, let's go to the island. And again, simple this year. I did not use my three-tiered tray. I just used this tray. And on it, I have my faux caramel apples that I DIY'd last year. Another pumpkin that I wrapped in homespun and put some twine on. Um, these, again, are just some small pumpkins I bought, I think, in a little bag. And then tucked in between are just some sporadic leaves and I've got some Spanish moss underneath it all and then this is an autumn table runner that I've had for a million years and on the other side it's it's just plain red so uh, sometimes at Christmas I'll use this so win-win and then over here on the refrigerator my trusty Dollar Tree fall autumn harvest pumpkin magnets that I've had for a million years and then I chain the white erase or the dry erase board says happy fall y'all oh happy fall y'all it's still warm here actually today it's not supposed to get very warm it's supposed to be in the in the low 70s so I'm going to mow today I think that that'll be acceptable and then the only other thing that I changed was um, I did purchase some orange mugs and I think I got these at the Dollar Tree and I like them they're kind of nice they're detailed they have some ribbing they're a good size 
And of course, we know coffee is served fresh all day. Oh, I love coffee. And I have my little coffee bar here. It's not as elaborate as some people, but I have the necessities. I've got my stevia. I've got some sugar-free flavors. Um, I've got some chai tea, in case I'm in the mood for tea. Some hot chocolate packets. And give me straws. And of course, I've got my Keurig if I just want a quick cup. And then a regular coffee maker for when we're going to make a whole pot. Only the last, last thing is my new to me. Um, I got these at the Dollar General too. This one says Thanksgiving, so it's kind of early for that, but I loved the way it looked. And, you know, the layering it with this tan tile I thought looked really nice. So, yeah, I got my stove board. Um, let me talk about it. This is a pantry cake that I made a few years ago. Um, that's a little candle that my son bought me for, I think, Mother's Day. Then I've got some dry goods and some jars. I've got some fake cinnamon rolls that I made a few years ago. I had a thing there for a while with salt dough. I was making all kinds of stuff. And then I've got some fake eggs in a basket. And above that, I've got my eat sign from Hobby Lobby. Got my owl salt and pepper shakers. And then, the, oh, don't you love these metal buckets from Walmart? I think it's like seven bucks. I buy bottled water from Kroger that's carbonated. And I usually buy it, <laughs> I usually buy like 20 or 30 bottles at a time. Look, I'm out. I gotta go to Kroger. But anyway, this is just the, the butler staircase that is right off the kitchen that goes, it actually merges into the other stairway from the living room. But I have this decorated somewhat. It's not fancy, but nobody goes up there except for the kitty cats. All right, kids. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do that. Crafting season is upon us. Let's get it going. And until next time, I hope that your fall is wonderful. And I hope that you're happy and healthy and that you'll come back and see me again. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.